Welcome. In front of me is a Xiaomi 12X and today I will show you how you can bypass the Google verification on this phone. So we can see that the phone I have right here is locked and I can use either a pattern to unlock it right now or Google account. But assuming we don't know either of those, we can simply bypass this. So anyway, there it is. As you can see, it is locked and there's also this tiny little lock right here. So to get started with the bypass, you want to first back out to the Wi-Fi connection page or go forward depending on where you are throughout the setup process, you just want to be here. And connect to some kind of network, uh, as you can see I have already done so. And once you are connected, scroll down all the way and select add network and in SSID you want to type in youtube.com. There we go. So once it's typed in, select the text and then select the chain link icon, which will open up YouTube. From here, you will tap on the account icon. And from here, we're gonna select help and feedback and then in the describe your issue field. Yeah, describe your issue field. You wanna type in delete or We go delete or and it comes up as a suggested delete or disable apps on Android. Select it and from here tap on the first one right here, the number one, tap to go to application settings. And you want to tap on more and choose show system. So once you see the system apps, there should be an Android setup. So let's see there is an Android setup one and also two. There are two of them as you've probably seen. So let's start off with the first one. I'm gonna select disable, disable app and for stop and okay. Then we're gonna go back. I'm gonna select the second Android setup. Here we're gonna select for stop because disable is grayed out so we can't do that. And let's go back. And now we're gonna scroll down to Google Play services. There we go. So once you locate your Google Play services, select again, disable, and disable app, and for stop. Go back. And the last thing that we will need to do is navigate all the way down to settings. There we go. And just as before, we have two different settings uh, process right here. I believe the one that we're looking for is the uh, top one right here and what you're looking for in the process right here is the open option the second one will not have it so if you open the wrong one get out of there and find the second one which should have the open button once you open up your settings you want to navigate to the search for it i believe it's in additional settings yep so you're looking for accessibility and then accessibility mini Toggle it on, allow, and okay. As you can see, that's this tiny little icon right over here. So once you have that icon at the bottom, you're gonna back out to the Wi-Fi page. From here, you're gonna go to the next page. And as you can see, it's now glitching out in a way. You can see right here that it's checking for updates and trying to show you something for like a split second and then does basically absolutely nothing, which is what we're looking for. So, uh, once you have this page basically doing whatever it's trying to do, you're gonna select this accessibility menu icon. You're gonna select Google Assistant, tap on settings, which disappears if you don't do it quick enough. And then you want to select enable, which is right over here. Now, as you see, these options do close. So you want to be fairly brief with them. Um, now, the chances are being quick also won't help you that much, though I believe it will slow down the phone a little bit. So you'll need to keep repeating this until the phone kind of like 
slows down a bit and actually gives you the time to select enable button. So that's what I'm going to be doing. And just to also kind of like add a little bit more info about this. Uh, if you're doing what I just showed you, so clicking on this Google Assistant settings and then trying to select enable, you're doing everything correct. So if it takes you, for instance, more than a couple of tries, don't get discouraged, just keep on going. Hopefully, uh, sooner rather than later, you'll manage to enable this. So there is no actual wrong way of doing it if you're pressing all the buttons that you're supposed to. There we go. So as you can see, it took me a couple of tries to get it and eventually I managed to enable it. So once you have enabled your play services, let's go back. And it should now go to the next page. And there we go. So let's select more, accept, and we can now finish up our setup. Now at this point, I don't really recommend adding anything or setting up your device just because we still need to perform one last thing, which is a factory reset of the phone. And the reason for this is the device is still locked at this moment. So performing a factory reset of the phone through settings will remove any kind of protection that was previously used on this device, therefore fully unlocking the device. Now, outside of it is we need to go through the factory reset and then another setup, though the setup at that point is just a typical one that you would normally experience with everything uh, optional. So Wi-Fi optional, connecting like to Wi-Fi or mobile, whatever. You don't need to do any of that. You can simply set it up however you like. And obviously you don't need to verify anything. So I'll show you where that is, but I'm not actually going to go through it uh, just because it will actually, come to be completely honest, help me out recording another video, which I can then do a reset through settings. So anyway, we're going to navigate into settings right now. Then you want to scroll down to additional settings. Let's scroll down. We have it in blue text right here. Factory reset. Select right here. Erase all data. Factory reset. And we get to wait 10 seconds right here and then another 10 seconds before we can actually confirm it. So I'll just kind of press this. As you can see, another 10 seconds. And after that 10 seconds, you can press on OK. This will begin the process of factory resetting your device. And once it's finished, you should be back in the setup screen. Like I mentioned, I'm not going to go through it strictly just because it doesn't actually show you anything extra or anything of value. Everybody most likely knows how to go through the setup process of their phone. So anyway, that is how you could bypass the Google verification on this phone. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.